Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up and activate Snowflake account. Then we will see how to connect to Snowflake data warehouse. So first open browser then go to snowflake.com. This is the official website. See here, start for free. This is for free. This is for 30 days and its free time limit is $400. Click on start for free. See here, start your 30 day free snowflake trial which includes $400 worth of free uses. Okay. Provide name, then mail id, here it is saying company email but you can give your personal loss. This is my email, provide student, company name, it can be student also, anything is fine. Roll. See, this is demo purpose I am giving. I am selecting student. Country by default it has selected your country. If you want to change, you have to click on this drop down and select it. I am okay with this one. Click on continue. See here, now we have to choose this snowflake edition. Standard enterprise business critical. See, for this standard we won't have this time travel, multi cluster warehouses and materialized views. Okay. And this have more options like database failover and fallback. Okay, so I'm going with enterprise. Then we have to choose the any one of this cloud provider. I'm going with Amazon Web Services. Based on your expertise, you have to select the cloud provider. Select it. Then select the region. I'm going with US East. Then click on this checkbox that is the accepting terms okay click on get get started now these are the option you can skip or you can select this also option you can skip it see you are now signed up okay signed up an email to activate your account has been sent to the registered email okay so go to email see i have received the activation email click on it then click on click here to click to activate now we have to Provide the username. I am giving R2 schools. Anything is fine. Then provide the password for this user. But it must contain one number, zero special characters, one uppercase and one lowercase. And, it, and its length must be between 8 to 256 characters. Click on get started if you want to bookmark this account you have to click on control d from your keyboard click on or simply copy the link by clicking this copy url then click on next skip for now see this is for tutorials and this is load data into SQL. So, I am going to skip this one. See, by default, it has provided these worksheets. And if you want to see the list of the warehouses, click on date, click on admin, click on warehouses. See, I have one warehouse and its size is X. If you want to edit, click on it. Scroll down. See, these are the details of the warehouse suspended x small max clusters running scaling policy that is standard you can change this one also by clicking on this one click on edit see you can change the policy to standard or snowflake optimized also size you can change by 
any one of them based on the size the charges will be more okay suspend after 10 minutes if you want to multi cluster warehouse you have to select these check boxes click on this check box see minimum one cluster we can give max up to 100 if you want to change the scaling policy we have to standard and economy okay I'm not going to change but I'm showing you how to change it see and if you want to see the list of the databases click on data see I have snowflake and snowflake sample data if you want to create new database click on database provide the database name to school and click on create see new database has been created in this database if you want to see in this database the default schemas are information schema and public schema expand public schema we don't have any objects which means table service here we have this default use comes for this database whenever we create the database it copies all the views from this information schema okay from the snowflake database then information schema okay again if you want to create a table in this public then click on worksheet click on new or click on this plus then select the type of worksheet SQL worksheet see this is the name if you want to change the name right click and rename click on this list then rename okay this is the way to name the worksheet see here account account is account admin warehouse is complete warehouse okay you want to create table in this database so use R2 schools create table student as mind as see these two columns I am going to create select all the comments and click on this run button see table student successfully created click on results to minimize go to public schema see tables see we have the one table and see here number of rows zeros size is zero owner is account admin created just now okay if you want to see the definition click on it see this is the definition that we have created if you want to create schema also you just give the create or replace schema schema name hr then put the semicolon select only about two lines and run it see schema hr successfully created click on results to minimize click on here and click on refresh see one more schema is added see here oh, mouse over on this schema then you will see the details parent database is this one user or owner is this one owner is this one created time definition see here we have created schema using this command okay so in this video we have seen how to create our setup then activate the snowflake account then we have seen how to connect to the snowflake account and create the database and its objects for more snowflake videos please subscribe my channel thank you